What's up, peeps? It's your boy, Silent Jeffro, and I'm going to review, for the very first time, Obi-Wan Kenobi. Obviously, I won't be able to show the footage, but I will leave a link in the description down below where you guys can watch the nice, sweet trailer. Because I don't want to get hit with copyright. Again. So, let's go ahead and watch this shit. As I watch it through my eyes, I'm going to speculate it and talk about it. Okay, here we go. Alright. So, it looks like he's on Tatooine. I'm assuming he is looking after Luke Skywalker. And possibly Leia, maybe. I don't know. But she's on a different world, I think. Looks like he's with a new droid. There's Luke. He has some weird ass binoculars. Lucas Films LTD. Wow, that looks like a uh, uh, Batman uh, <laughs> ship. <laughs> Who the hell is that? The hell? Who is that chick? Why is she dressed up like Darth Vader? Okay, we got some more impurable troops. Okay. Who is this ball dude? Okay. So it looks like we got two new Sith villains. It looks like they're hunting down Jedi. Obi Wan Kenobi. Limited series streaming May twenty fifth. Holy shit! I can't wait to watch this shit. All right, so guys. This is exciting. Very, very exciting. Like, I wasn't prepared for this. So, I'm just going to show you guys the bits and pieces of imagery over here. Because, alright, so at the beginning of the scene, we are given a glimpse of what tattooing looks like and shit, right? Then when we come over here to this screen, it's a bunch of freaking poor people walking around. Then you got Obi-Wan Kenobi on a somewhat camel. I don't even know if camels exist in Tatooine. It's probably an alien version of a camel. Okay. Then he's sitting over here, which... Is that like a droid... Or is that like a bottle of whiskey? What the hell is that? Like, I want to know in the comment section down below. What do you think that shit is? All right. So uh, he's probably drinking some booze. What else? Looks like he's uh, looking out through his uh, binoculars over here. And what the hell? Is that a UFO? Is that a spaceship over there? the hell is that popping out of the ground? An eyeball? <laughs> uh, looks like Luke Skywalker is on top of that right there. Looks like that's his fake mother and father over there. Maybe, or his aunt and uncle, maybe. Yeah, kind of like, um, Uncle Ben and May Parker from Spider-Man. <laughs> uh... Then we got Luke Skywalker making believe, you know, he's like, you know, sitting in a car. Those binoculars, though, I got to say, that's pretty cool. Um, so then it says Lucas Films. Now, this threw me off, guys. This threw me off. I was thinking <laughs> Bat Batman flying through the sky. <laughs> Tell me no. Like, come on. Like... Where are they getting these ideas from? Are they stealing this shit from DC? 
Come on, man. That's the bat. That's the bat plane, man. Why are you copying off my boy Batman for it, bro? So it looks like they're going to a uh, tower. It's a streaming exclusive. More poor people. I don't know what the fuck is this his problem, but look at his nose, yo. <laughs> Dude, that was the that was the first thing I noticed when I was looking at this. I'm like, okay, I'm looking at Obi-Wan. I'm like, where the hell's Obi-Wan Kenobi? I know it's not this big dude with the big ass nose and shit. <laughs> I was like, is this Majin Buu? Or it's like, who, who the hell is that? Who is that? He looks like he belongs in the Who family and freaking uh, the Grinch. <laughs> uh, so we come over here. I thought in this scene right here, I thought I'm like, I see feet floating and shit. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking like, yo, does the Jedi have... The ability to fly like Jesus Christ. But no, it looks like someone's getting hanged over here. And all right, before I get to this chick over here, all right. This dude, he looks so familiar. I can't put a name behind it. If you guys have any clue what this actor's name is, please write it in the comment section down below. And with the seconds that follows what I'm talking about. Um, yeah, so it looks to me that this guy might be a Jedi. Because, you know, he was he was wearing the same clothes as uh, Obi-Wan. Right here in the background. Kind of like that karate gi-ish look. And this chick... I mean... I mean, for a black girl... To be a Sith Lord, that's crazy. Cause that's I think that's a first to see a black chick as a Sith Lord. Um but the only black chick in Star Wars that has the flattest chest on earth. Which I'm pretty sure, and I'm probably gonna put it out there, is probably trans. Imagine having a trans character in Star Wars. Now that will turn so many heads in the industry of Disney. And it has happened before. There has has ha there has happened so many numerous times. There's a lot of uh re gay reference, trans reference with characters now in TV shows and video games, okay? So it might be one of those uh transitioning uh characters but we don't know i w i really don't know I'm, I'm not here to judge the person but hey if there is it is it, perfect if not then you know whatever and then we come over here now i've noticed this had a, has to be like an easter egg of something of some sort because the last star wars out right which was i think what six it was six now, meaning that there's a 6 and a 7 underneath it. I'm like thinking to myself, is this episode 15? Is this like a trick question? Or is this that 7 there just because it says 7? Or if there was supposed to be a Star Wars 7? I don't know. <laughs> if anybody has any clue or what this means, this little Easter egg, then please let me know in the comment section down below or create a video or send me the link to the video so I can watch it. Um, then we also have the Bat, the Batmobile plane, whatever the hell you want to call it. Um, then we got this Imperial Trooper. I don't know if she's important or not. Like I said, Star Wars, uh, let a brother know. I mean, I, you know, I'm, I like Star Wars. I'm just not like intuitive with the Star Wars or like the geography with it and shit. So like, like I said, let a brother know. Uh, let's see here. Now we got a nice clean shot of Obi-Wan Kenobi in his robes and yo, he's a dead giveaway. He's dead center. Jesus Christ look alike, friggin' Obi-Wan, friggin' Kenobi, 
You wouldn't even know if he was old or young in this freaking photo right here. Maybe they might go back in time and show you glimpses of what he was like when he was younger, I guess. I'm not sure if they're going to do that into this movie. But I really hope they do something pretty much close to it. And show maybe like an Anakin Skywalker type theme to it. Now this robot looks pretty familiar. This reminds me of the robot from Rogue One. Uh, but the Rogue One version was a whole, the whole robot was all in black, gouged in black, and he was like an imperial robot. All right, but I think he was like a spy or some shit. And then we come over here with this freaking bald dude that looks like uh, Needlehead from, uh, dude, what, where, did I, where have I seen this guy's face from? And what and what is his name? Like I said, guys, comments down below. I need comments about who this dude is. Cause like I said, don't know anybody about this friggin' guy. And let's see, between the darkness, you know, I'm having a gut feeling that Darth Maul might pop up somewhere in this movie or slash TV series, and I'm hoping so. Because it, it appears to me that he's not dead yet. So, it looks like they're in Chinatown for some reason. This is crazy. I don't know. Who's this Who's this dude in the freaking hat? And he's definitely Chinese. I can tell you that. Alright. Then we come over here. We got some fight scenes going on right here, right? Now, this bitch coming out with the freaking lightsaber. Like, yo, where you going, kid? You know? Oh, crap. Stupid commercials. But, uh, yeah, this is crazy, guys. This is crazy. I did not expect this at all from this movie or slash TV show that's coming out. So, what else do we... Alright, so we got that. We got that. We got these weird birds flying out. I have no idea where they're coming from. Hope survives. And then you see one more glimpse of Obi-Wan Kenobi. And then, of course, the title screen goes into Star Wars Obi-Wan Kenobi, which is the first trailer. And then supposedly it comes out May 25th, all right? So I'll remind you guys, and I'll leave it in the description box down below for you. So... What do I think about this trailer? I believe that we're going to get Darth Maul for sure within the mix of this. Because there's a lot to go around with this uh, live, uh, live stream event that's going to happen in May 25th. Okay, And just like the book of Boba Fett, it's probably going to be even crazier because... If the book of Boba Fett follows the events in the same aspect of Luke Skywalker, right, and that timeline, maybe that will fit in this timeline, but maybe after Obi-Wan Kenobi is done, and then it'll show like a a brief moment in time of, you know, Boba and, you know, uh, a little bit more matured Luke Skywalker. And um, I think that's about it, guys. I mean, there's not a lot to go on by this because this is more anticipated than all Star Wars films put together. Because how many times did you really honestly think, and you th you, you probably thought to yourself that, when the hell is Obi-Wan Kenobi going to come out with a movie or like a web series and shit? And I was thinking to myself, oh, maybe... Two more years, three more years, right? No, no. With Star Wars, it takes friggin' forever to come out. You want to know why it takes friggin' forever? Because they got a plan, and they got a plan, and they got a plan, and they got to friggin' go to the right locations, desert area, bad area, 
hobo area. Very, very poor hobo area. Like Gotham City type shit. Right? Where people with big ass noses or big faces and weird looking faces and shit. Um, weird people like the Sith Lords and shit that are bald with tattoos in their face. Kind of like friggin' Darth Maul's cousin or some shit. I swear to God, he looks like the needle face dude from Hellraiser. Um, Pinhead, I guess that's what they call him. Uh, yeah, so there's so much going on in the Star Wars community in the, in the friggin' TV shows right now. It's crazy right now. Um, but yeah, anybody has any clue to what I was saying to you guys earlier within the parameters of this particular film, please throw it down in the comment section down below. I don't care if you got to number it in order. I don't care if you got to do it in the way you want it to. Just put it in there. Put it in the comments so I can read it for myself. Search it online and see if the facts come out true. Um, like I said, I'm going to say it for the third or fourth, probably fifth time maybe. The geography on Star Wars, I don't know very no much about. But I know there's a lot of geeky people out there from the Star Wars community that could possibly help me out with this shit. And if you are out there, let a brother know. Once again, this is your boy, Salah Jeffro, signing off. And I'll see you in the next review or the next video or the next gaming video. Peace.